The woman in the blonde wig is the key player in the messy murder mystery surrounding school teacher Desiree Sunford. If you weren't sleeping with Desiree's husband, would she still be alive today? I don't know. The mistress says she didn't kill Desiree and neither did Desiree's husband, Scott. She points the finger at her best friend, Marty Grismer, as the killer and claims he actually confessed to her. Why did Marty tell you he murdered Desiree? He wanted me to be happy. That was always his end goal, was my happiness. Here's the problem. We've uncovered some glaring inconsistencies in her story. We'll start from the beginning. Were you in an open relationship with Desiree and Scott? Yes. Desiree was approving you are having sex with Scott. Yes. And you were having sex with Desiree. Mm hmm And that's your final answer. Yes. You're lying to us right now. You're a liar. I'm not lying. If she's not lying, how does she explain these text messages we found? Desiree sure doesn't sound like she's condoning any hanky-panky or any kinky threesome. Desiree writes, I'm just getting frustrated. You two chat and show pics and I tend to get left out. One of you leaves, the other hops out too. It's adding up and over time, it's starting to bug me. You write, I try to stay out of the way as much as possible. I understand if you don't want me here. Desiree said, there's something wrong here. See, Desiree is onto something. She's saying, there's, there's, something, there's something not right about this relationship you have with my husband. So you can cut the act that she was approving of anything you were doing. In fact, she's suspicious here that you're having an affair. I don't remember that conversation. Oh, you don't remember? Well, let me remind you of another one. This is you writing to her. If you ever die and he needs a wife, I'm half convinced that would be me. Just, it's coincidence a year later. Was Desiree does end up dead. You are not in an open relationship with Scott and Desiree? We were. No, you, I'm just reading text messages to you that suggest blatantly the exact opposite. The mistress also claims Marty Grismer was just an annoying friend who had a sexual obsession with her, an almost fatal attraction. While we're on the subject of uh, your honesty, you said uh, Marty was obsessed with you, but you never had any type of sexual relationship with Marty. Right. What about the nude photo exchanges between you two? Yeah, there were definitely nude photo exchanges. Between you two? Yes. Did you wonder why Marty may have been obsessed if you're sending him new photos? But that's not having sex. That's a sexual relationship if you're sending new photos. You know, here's my private parts, but it's not sexual. Yeah, but I send them to a lot of people. His new job. Most of the photos that Marty got, Scott also got. So did Scott's dad. You were close with Scott Sr. as well? Yeah. Did you and Scott Sr. fool around? Yeah. Yeah, we fooled around, but we never had sex. Despite all of her inconsistencies and the suspicious behavior of Desiree's husband, Scott, cops say the evidence still points to Grismer as the lone killer, and prosecutors charge him with first-degree murder. But in an odd courtroom twist, Grismer takes what's called an Alfred plea. Which essentially says that the state has a good case and it could... Uh find him guilty if he if he fights it. But Grismer maintains his innocence with this plea? Mm -hmm. Ever run through your mind that maybe the mistress and Scott set him up and used Marty as a patsy? There will always be questions, I suppose. As far as this investigation goes, is the case closed? Case is closed. Yeah, we're done. We've moved on. What was running through your mind when he took that deal? My heart hit the floor. I was extremely angry. I cried a lot. I didn't feel like justice had been done. There was a lot of anger. <laughs> Sorry. I still get mad about it. You can stop the tears. You know, I don't buy a word you're saying. My story has been the same from the beginning. 
Grismer is sentenced to 15 years behind bars, but there is an interesting catch. As part of the Alfred plea deal, Grismer does have one year to change his mind and fight the murder charge in court. What do you make of the sentence? Justice was not served by, by that sentence. Does it bother you that, yeah, you have one guy who's serving 15 years in prison for gunning down your daughter, but other people may have gotten away scot-free? Oh, it, it drives me bonkers. Every time I think of Scott running around, happy-go-lucky, it just infuriates me. Whether or not he planned it, he is the reason my daughter is dead. Bottom line, his actions directly caused her death. Connie, you know what's just crazy? I'm getting an email from my producer who has notified me that while we've been talking right now, Marty reached out to him to say that he's innocent, that he had nothing to do with your daughter's murder. The email goes on to say, in part, I was naive and trusting. I did nothing to Miss Sunford. I had nothing to gain. Do you have a message for anyone else who may have been involved, not yet charged, certainly not yet convicted, who may be involved in your daughter's death? Karma's a when she's got your number. You never know when she's gonna come get you. The mistress and Scott are no longer together after finding out the baby wasn't Scott's. The father was one of the mistress's ex-boyfriends. Do you feel any guilt? Only when I feel like if I had just cut Marty out a lot sooner, it never would have happened. How do you think you did in this interview? I didn't cry too much. But we know the tears were fake. They so. weren't though. People are gonna watch this and say, man, this woman is lying up and down. I'm not lying. All right, now we want to hear from you. Do you think Marty Grismer was set up? Join the debate right now on our Facebook page. I'm Chris Hansen. If you like this story, make sure you tune in every day to Crime Watch Daily. You can find where the show airs in your city at CrimeWatchDaily.com. Watch it live or record it on your DVR and watch it at night. And to all those criminals out there, remember, we are watching.